today we're checking out the new episode of the elusive samurai but first if you enjoy the video like comment and subscribe so you can help us get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year though i know a lot of you that are watching this right now are already subscribed so thank you so much for doing that and you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on patreon plus you'll find some other links down in the description like the link to my other channel if you like non-anime reactions if you like uh, k-drama reactions check out that second channel also maybe you want to stop by the twitch stream and then hang out with me and the rest of the community as we watch anime like this anime you could literally be here on saturdays watching this anime with us by the way i just want to say and i don't know if i should say this because maybe the japanese audience is going to get mad for me or mad at me for saying this but i don't think that they have made any sort of like sexualized shoto moments or shota moments in this the blush on his face in that one scene i've seen people on twitter talking about the one blush on his face yeah he is excited because he is playing tag the motherfucker is happy because he gets to show that you can't touch me he's playing a game he's having fun he gets excited but not like oh i'm about to bust in my pants excited excited like this is fun that's all it is i just ate a spider's web Ooh, yucky <laughs> He's excited about it, dude. Bro, he's trying to lop some more heads, bro. He had fun. That's literally what I just said. He's playing tag. Hey, as evil as this fucking guy is, his eyes are beautiful. Yo, does anybody know if Lee's watching this anime? I bet he loves the fucking Takaoji guy. Or the evil uncle getting ahead in the world by sacrificing his his nephews. I'll be back, bitch. Yeah, I don't know if I would have like thrown the sword like that. I would have maybe held on to that. Uh oh. Damn, he gone. And now he must locate more retainers to continue to expand his group. He fell in a hole? What is this? Whoa. Inappropriate. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like that. I don't want that. Fucking crickets in his food? Ew. <laughs> Creepy. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> Just ran off. Fell in another trap. I knew you would do that, right? He knew you would just run off that direction, so he set a trap there too. I like this idea of him being able to just predict the future and shit. It's really cool. <laughs> a running gag is a word I learned from the future. Bro, I'm telling you, he might have like time traveled to the past or something. I don't know what's up with him. He's kind of sussy. A third time won't work. Or maybe he's not from the future. Maybe he actually genuinely just sees the future. Honest and earnest. Mm, when you're raised to just basically be a figurehead that does nothing. It, there's no real ambition. It's not like you're, you're actually going to be a warrior. It's not like you're actually making decisions. It's not like you actually need the knowledge to do this or that. Being raised to sit on a seat. And act like he means he he's meaningful. That's all. Mm. Interesting. So now he's gonna have to prove that he has the power to actually change things and assist uh Tokiyuki. Nah, you gotta be a little more. Wait, what was that? 
Oh, that's just when everyone was dead and he was sad. Hmm. Dude, the transitions, the the scenes here, I love it, dude. The imagery is just beautiful. I am a true god. Hey, oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? Okay, so he's not a guy from the future. I don't even think he's just a guy that knows the future. He just said yeah, he's a god, and I believe him. He just did waterbending, bro. That was beautiful. I agree. That was absolutely beautiful. How the fuck? He has to be. Hey. Hey. What the? Hey, I don't know if he convinced Tokiyuki, but I'm convinced. I am absolutely convinced. I don't know what the fuck he just did, but he did some special shit, bro. Yeah, you might want to. If he tells you to study, you do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hank <laughs> has got some stubble on him a little bit. That's funny, dude. Well, it's a fucking... He's like a, um... Like a damn... Like a scrub. Exfol... Yeah, he's exfoliating. That's the word. You guys couldn't use it, but I did. It's like he exfoliated him. I fully believe in him, dude. You serious? <laughs> oh, he fell in his own hole. Oof. <laughs> He's funny, dude. I like him, dude. I like him a lot. The water was in on it. Yeah, the water was a paid actor as well. Mm, I believe it. Greatest swordsman of your generation, yeah. I mean, he's got to grow into his role, but sure. That's cool. I like that. I like her, dude. She's 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 adorable. Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, what is this Dragon Ball reference, bro? Is that a spirit bomb? Is that what it's called? I forgot what it's called. Spirit bomb? Motherfucker turn into Goku, bro. What the hell? I've not watched Dragon Ball Z in a long time. Oh, by the way, I've never seen Dragon Ball in my life. I watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid. I've never watched Dragon Ball, ever. I don't, I don't know how much of Super I watched. I want to say maybe half. I did not watch tournament thing. Jiren, yeah, yeah, Jiren, with the Jiren guy popping off. I didn't watch any of the fights in that tournament because I literally watched the dub up to some point before it started. And then the next episode that I watched was sub. And it just threw me off. It's it, when, when you are an American like myself that grows up on hearing Goku one way, hearing Goku in you know in the japanese is very different and so i stopped watching it uh eventually i'm probably going to you know do that eventually i'll watch the big tournament arc of super and i'll watch dragon ball oh damn he built different 
That's kind of funny. <laughs> this kid's funny. I like him, dude. That's crazy, dude. Push up till somebody gives up? How many marbles will fit in an ant's nest? They're very different from you. That one might fit with what he likes. Hunting. He knows that, bro. You know he sees the future. I saw the tribulations they'll face, too. Ooh, that meat looks bussin'. I'd shove that whole thing in my mouth. Pause. Snipe. Damn, missed. That's... Oh, okay. It's because it was Tokiyuki that shot it. If you do that, you're just going to fuck up the food. What is the point of hunting if you smush the fucking thing? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Bunny. What the demon? That's a demon boar. Ew, what the fuck? What is that creature? Bro, in true dungeon meshy fashion, I actually would eat it. I'm just saying. Nambukcho ox demon botan ox ox. Crazy animation. Oh God, that's a big ass boar. I did not think it was that big. Wow. That thing's massive. I don't know why, but from far away, I thought it was much smaller. I thought it was more like normal boar size, maybe above average boar size. I thought like at most it was like this big, like up to my hip size. Not like bigger than me size. That's crazy. This is a reference to Princess Mononoke, is it? Oh, well, that's cool. I haven't seen Princess Mononoke in... Over 15 years. Oh, she's the strategist. Oh, that's lit. <laughs> Under the tree. E, E. Tree, E, E. Oh, my God. Juked. Oh, I love it. He's going to have fun, too. He's having tons of fun with this. This is your thing, though. You love running. You love to evade. You love the chase, the hunt. What the hell is that? Wow. That's wild. Holy moly. Ouch. I'm gonna talk about to fly off the damn tree. Or the cliff. Yeah, that's the word. Oh. I gotta say, I love the way that they transition violence into like whatever else. Like a like a like a calm scene afterwards. Somebody's heads get head gets chopped off, a ball drops. A boar is about to land on a spike, somebody's foot is just going into the water. The transitions in the show absolutely amazing. It's just so good. <laughs> Bro, I bet that motherfucker tastes good, huh? A beast remaining from ancient times. Wow. Been running this forest, huh? Beautiful animation. Oh my god. Elusive, right? We're gonna put wrap up your tail in flea party. Mm. Sweet tooth party, what? Born to runner up? Okay. The elusive samurai party. Right? And that's where we get the come on. Hit us with a title drop. We know they're gonna do it. We know they're gonna do it.
Oh, okay. Elusive Warriors. Cool, cool, cool. Is that the title drop, by the way? Or is it actually, like, the title is supposed to be Samurai and not Warriors? Oh, true. They would say Samurai. You're right. I don't know why I thought... Sa <laughs> I was so dumb. For some reason, I thought Samurai was, like, English, <laughs> English translation of something. I'm stupid, dude. I don't know. That sounds like bullshit. Oh, damn. He just got whacked with a bone. Oh, no. Nah. Our next opponent. We still have to meet this last guy here. We haven't met him yet. Another fucking phenomenal episode. That was great. Not as cool as the first two, I'll say. Okay. Yeah, they, they hunt down the uh, boar and stuff. The beast boar. Which is cool and all, but it's just... Dude, the other two episodes were crazy. Actually, with that said, Yoroshige doing the water thing, that was that was kind of wild. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I genuinely think he might be a god. What I love about this show is the color of it. The color is so vibrant. Every person that I tell to watch this, they love it. What did you guys think about the episode? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also, like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.